guys, welcome back to Blackson's Place. Today, we're going to be making our Earth Science Kit Volcano. Today, we're going to be making our Earth Science Kit Volcano. And I think we're going to need some help. Ja, ja. <laughs> hey, Braxton. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to be making a volcano. We're going to make the, the uh, base of the volcano with the plaster and the mold. And then we have to let that sit and dry. And in the box is this volcano science kit instructions. It's going to tell us what to do. And we have some rubber gloves that we got out, some little um, gloves to help us protect our hands. We put on some apron and your little lab coat and lab glasses to keep our eyes and our clothes all clean and safe. And then let's see, it comes with volcano plaster erupt, oh, this is so cool. Eruption powder A. And eruption powder B. Oh. I bet that's gonna make it erupt. Okay, and then we have our little volcano mold that we're gonna put in a mold. And some markers. Or paint, I think they're paint. Paint to paint the volcano with to make it look really cool and real. And then it says to have two conta disposable containers and a cup of water. So here we have our cup of water. All right, so let's get our instruction book out and we will read what we're supposed to do, okay? Instructions for assembling your volcano. All right, let's get our volcano pieces. Braxton, where are the volcano pieces? Right here. Okay, why don't you get those? We will move this over to the side for now. Okay, there we go. Now, this is a little bit tricky on how to put together, isn't it? Yes. All right, what should we do first? It says, arrange the three volcano mold walls in any order within the mold base. So it shows a picture, so put them in, put it up here. Why don't you do it on here where they can see? Okay, so you're gonna put one layer. And I'll get the camera. Mm -hmm. You might need some help, it's really hard. And then you're going to need this, all three in there, mm -hmm. and then get your rubber band that it comes with, and put it around it. There you go, you're doing awesome. Kind of hard to get everything lined up. Get the rubber band all down over the edges, and the rubber band is in the little, the little grooves on each side. Okay, and I think and it's done. Skinny parts down in there, and that's what it looks like. How's that look? Does it stand together? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna put that back on because that's gonna make sure we have a hole in it when it's finished. All right. So now we're gonna take. Pour the entire contents of volcano plaster bag. Where's our volcano plaster? Are we going to need another rubber band? No, nope, we're just going to let this sit. Let it sit right here and get your volcano plaster bag. Where's your volcano plaster bag? Right here. Okay, volcano plaster bag. We're going to pour that into one of these. Do we need it like? I think it's fine. Can you just pour it into one of those? Yep, I think we need some go. All right, good job. All right, so now it says, all right, all the way up, take this and pour it into your disposable container. Breathe it all in. Um, okay, now 
Set it aside, add one cup of water to another disposable container. So here's our other disposable container. We'll set that over there. Here's our other disposable container. And here's our one cup of water. You wanna pour our one cup of water in there? There we go, one cup of water in there. All right, gradually, it means slowly. Do you know what gradually means? Kind of slowly, we're gonna add some of the plaster mix into our water while stirring. So do you wanna stir or do you wanna add? You want, you want to stir it all in the Do that at Once the platter is mixed and ready, pour it into the volcano and let it set for 30 to 45 minutes. Alexa, off. Are we ready? Yep. All right, we got our plaster. You want to pour it in here? Yep. Try to get all that stuff off and make it kind of level on top. So hopefully it sits level when the time comes to erupt it. Erupt it. Mm. Erupt it. <laughs> all right. We will pull these off. Pull them inside out. Throw that away. You might need Throw this away. There we go. All right. And we'll let this sit and dry, and we'll to see 30, if we get a volcano. To 35 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. All right, see you in 45 minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to Baxter's place. Um, we were supposed, you'd only have to let this sit for 40, 40 minutes, but we ended up leaving it for one day. So today is day two and we're going to paint. All right, we're looking at the instructions and it says number six, we are on number six. Once the plaster has set, which it should be set, Carefully remove the mold and use your stirring stick to scrape off any mold lines that are left behind. All right, so, so can you get it out? Flip it. There you go. Flip it up. Get that off. Whoa. It's pretty deep. I didn't think it was deep at all. That's what it looks like. It's really deep. Really deep. Okay, now we're going to take the rubber bands off. All right, rubber band is off. Okay, you're fully. Oh, whoa. I think this will come off. Yeah, you can scrape it off. It says use this to scrape it off. That's just these. Oh, yeah, it's got some pretty big lines. I've had a pretty Don't big scrape gap. these extra little, like, inventions to help the volcano. Uh -huh. You don't want right. to scratch all those. Just like. Mm-hmm. They have some pretty big lines. They might be hard to get all the way off. How they do? Oh, no, yeah. I mean, this will just actually these oh. like big ones just kind of snap off. They don't think. Here, just snap those off. Oh, there you go. 
if they're big enough, you might be able to see. Yeah. Or I can just like cut it. <laughs> yep. And take these big ones. We had some big seam lines. From the they just snap right off. Oh. Uh -huh. Sometimes they snap it off. There you go. All right. Use that and scrape it off. You might be able to snap it off with your finger. Or, you know what, we have this little tool. We use this we part. We lost our paintbrush. But so this using... little tool also came with the kit, the <laughs> National Geographic Earth Science Kit. So you can use that also to scrape it off. And actually, you're looking pretty good. All right, how's that look? Good enough. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see, number seven actually says, the plaster must dry completely before you paint it. Put the plaster volcano in a warm, dry place for one or two days. We let ours sit in the mold for a day. Um, so it's pretty dry. Okay, now we get, we're gonna be able to paint it. I know, but if you want to use these, you just take a little scissors and you cut it off. Oh, that's it. Yeah, but mm -hmm. that's... Now it'll squirt down like a spring. Oh, yeah, that will squirt. Oh, you got something on there. Or a jaw jaw to help you cut off your tip so it you have something so it flows out. Ooh, got right on your scissors. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna throw the rest of the thread because it doesn't really flow out. All right, so what are we going to do now? Wait, let it dry. Yep, so now we're going to wait and let our paint dry on our volcano, and then we can take it out. And now we're going to try blow drying it. We kind of want to get to dry faster, so we're going to try blow drying the paint. Let's see this cool volcano. Look at that, you wanna turn it around? Whoa. Let me, whoa. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, that looks like real lava right there. What's the other side look like? Nice, wow. And in the top, there's a hole that we can put erupting powder. our erupting powder in it. Still. All right, let's set it down. And now we need to get ready to what? Erupt it. We need to get all our stuff ready so we can erupt it. We need our eruption powders. There's a, one and two eruption powders. A and B. A and B, and we need to read what we need to do next. The instructions say to do it over a newspaper or a pan because it can get a little messy and wear an old shirt. And we have our science vest and apron. We have our science vest and our apron and you have goggles and I have glasses. And the question is, do we do it here or, or outside. Our cookbook or outside? I think we should do it outside. Braxton wants to do it outside. 
The only problem is it's cold. It's cold outside. It's so cold the pond's frozen. Like yep. the ducks can't even swim. And we have ducks in a pond and they they're kind of walking swim. on top of the ice. But it's not super cold. It's not cold. So you want to try it outside? Yep. Okay, we're going to try it outside. So we got to get all our stuff together First and we'll we see you get... outside. Okay, we got to get ready for it to go outside. So what do we need to do? So we need to take eruption powder A and eruption powder B. B and it says thoroughly mix all of eruption powder A. We have a bowl. So it's... Take A and put it in here. Why can't both? Thoroughly mix all of eruption powder A, which is sodium bicarbonate, and eruption powder B, which is citric acid. Oh, together. I already know how, how this works. So we mix them together. So put them in this bowl. We mix them together. I already know how these. This all works. right. That is eruption powder what are, what's with this? Hey, let's What's look in, at eruption powder A. What's in eruption powder A? That is eruption powder A. What's in it? And it is, um, and now, let's see. What's in it? Eruption powder A is sodium bicarbonate. The sodium bicarbonate, and what are, what's this? And now we're putting in eruption powder B. Which is? Eruption powder B is citric acid. All right, stir them all together. These it says mix them together. These will react to each other. When we add one more thing, what are we water. gonna add? We gotta add we water. We need to get water in them. They re they're gonna react to each other, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna come out. All right, so we have those mixed up. So you want to take it outside and do it. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to bring it out to the gravel, and we are going to erupt it. Now we have it over where it's not going to stain anything we need, so we're going to erupt it. Okay, now we have our eruption powder and a tablespoon. So we're going to get one tablespoon of the eruption powder. Go ahead and put that in there, and I got a funnel just because I was afraid it wouldn't go in. And get a little more because that wasn't quite a tablespoon. So, it's not really going in. We're gonna, there we go. Yep. And it's almost full. All right. So now it says you put, what you pour here. I got this little thing. This is water. We're gonna fill that up with water and put it in there and we're gonna watch it erupt. No, that's leaning this way. So you wanna be on this side. Okay. You ready? All right. Get in your water. Let's see. Ready. Go Count for down. it. Three. Three. Two, one. Whoa! Whoa! It's look at that! Woo! It's bubbling over. Whoa! Ah! Lava flowing down. Whoa! Look at that lava. That is bright red. We're gonna do some more. I'm scared it's gonna erupt right when I put this in. I didn't get quite a tablespoon. There we go. Did we fill it up? All right, now lift this out. Lift that out. There we go. We got eruption powder in there. All right, put, put a little water down in there. Whoa. So what do you think of your volcano? Awesome. No. Was that fun? Mm-hmm. You can try it again?
All right, whoops. That's why we had the thing before because it kind of went over the edge, but that's all right. It'll be cool. All right, we're gonna use the rest of our eruption powder. So we're getting like three, what do we get? Like three or? This is our third. This is our third one. Well, and we have the actually, big yeah. All right, do we have any water left? All right, hold the water up high so that it That's pretty cool, but you know what? what? I think that red stuff, it says, can stain your hands. So maybe we should have worn gloves. We'll have to see if that comes off. Let's see your hands. Hey! Yeah. Most of it's paint, I think. <laughs> Thanks for watching our science, and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>